input styles to create the data set from the internal files means the data entry i told you in the real time we won't do the data entry so there we get the day we can get the data from client database so we need to access the data there from the client database then we can create a data set in sas but now we are the learners we don't have any raw data so this is the basic program how to create our own data set and here while doing the data entry we can follow different styles so these are the input styles here list input style named input style length input style formatted input style modified input style and mixed input style okay first of all list input style this is general using method okay data data set name input we can give the variable names so input statement i have given the variable names in this order first employee id then name then salary in the data lines also we have to give the observations in the same way 100 we employed in name then salary the list input style see So I have created a data set, employee one, like this, three columns and two rows. Next, named input style. This was employee two. In the named input style, all variable names followed by keyword equal sign. Now here while giving the observations no need to follow the order like this so here first we should enter the employee name only next name only next to salary only in the order only in this order only in the list input style but here no need to follow the order you can change but you have to write like this because i'm giving name next i'm giving salary next i'm giving the employee id okay next time first i will give the salary Okay, next I will give the employee ID. Then name. So I didn't follow the order. We can change the order, but every time we have to write like this. Variable name is equal to observation. It's a time-taking process, but like this also we can do the data entry. So reading properly. Employee ID one two name salary. So this is called named input style. Next uh, length input style. Suppose now we don't have a space here. So here we have space delimiter, so it can read first one, second one like that. But here we don't have a space now, so it won't read now properly. See, EMP3 created, but say zero operations. Okay, then how to read this now like this? So in this case we have to specify the length manually. So employee ID is one, two, three. from beginning to name is the fourth one salary is 5 to 9 so when it could be possible if you have the uniform data same number of characters then only it could be possible length input style 
Sí. This is the length input style. Here we have different styles. Okay, next. Suppose this is one variable, only one variable. So here also you can specify the length, 30 dot. You can use like this length statement and then variable length, then length dot. Otherwise we can write like this also, simply. In the input statement, the variable name, after the variable name also we can specify the length. Okay, execute this. Showing like this, 100. Zero, zero. This is the code. Then it is showing the state name, like this. But I don't want the code now. I want only the state name. Okay, here state name is starting from fourth position, right? First three are the some code. State name is starting from fourth position. So you can give now at the rate of four. Means I don't want to read the data from the beginning. I want to read from the fourth character directly. So like that we can specify the length. So steady only from fourth position. So different examples you can find like this. Length input style. Next, uh, formatted input style. Okay, here we can read an alpha numeric data in the numeric variables. Suppose this is the data now. It's an alpha numeric data, mixing of numbers, special characters. But I'm taking salary as a numeric variable. So now, in sal it will show only null values. Observe. This is the problem. An employee ID, okay. Name, okay. But since salary, null values. Okay, then how to read this one? Suppose here if you are keeping dollar sign, okay, we can read. You see, employee 4, we columns. So I have taken salary also text variable. So as a text variable. So I can read. But the problem is here, suppose I need to calculate the total for salary variable. So here I am using sum. Sum salary. But it's not possible. It will show an error. Because you have taken salary as a text variable and you are trying to do the analysis now. It's not possible. Only for numeric variables you can do the analysis. Not on text variables. So execute. So showing an error. Variable sal in list does not match type prescribed for this list. So you have taken salary as a text variable. So you can't do the analysis. So in this case don't keep the other sign. Just after the variable name, you can specify the character. What is the character here? Com. And then you have to specify the width. Width means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the width. Or you can give approximate 10 or something. No problem. So if you have like this. So here 6, here 5 only. So you can give the max one. So now, total salary. And see here, data type, salary is the numeric variable only. So like this, we can read an alpha numeric data in the numeric variables. Not only comma, you can read dollar or euros or mixing anything in this way. And in the output also, if you want, you can show the uh, commas here in the cell. But for that we have to use the format. So later we will discuss just like this. Format cell. Like this you can use the format. So you can show the output like this. With comma. Okay, don't get confused. So we will discuss that one in the informats and formats in the next session. 
So like this, we can read an alpha numeric data in the numeric variables. Next, uh, modified input style. So you can take the data like this also. You can write like this. Harshad. But if you are executing this one, now it can take only one observation. This is the first one. Because the remaining data is like this, in this way. If you want to read all observations, here we have to use the mod pair, double at the rate of. So then it can read the total data and it can keep this data in the buffer area, logical memory space. Then according to the variables it can read, employee ID, name, salary, employee ID, name, salary, like that. So now we can read the total data. So no need to enter the data like this only, you can enter like this also and you can use the modifier, double at the rate. So we can read properly. This is also one style. Next, uh, last one here. Mixed input style. Mixed means combination of any two input styles. It's called mixed. This one. Come. For example. Here, salary, comma, width. So here I'm using two input styles. One is the formatted input style to read an alpha numeric data in the numeric variables. Then modified input style because I have data like this. So, ready? So, so mixed input style. 